Hello everyone, my name is Zoofluencer and I'm really happy to be back with a new episode of Monkey Island. Um, as some of you probably know that I have not been able to record for two weeks. And actually this footage I already recorded um, before I had to travel. So um, I'm actually looking back at a two week old build. So it's really uh, fun to do this commentary like this this time. Um, so this will be the second part of the lemur habitat. If you didn't look or if you didn't see the first video yet, make sure you check that one out as well. In that episode, I only built the um, lemur building, which you can also see in the background currently. Um, so I built the, uh, the inside area and the uh, little terrace on the back, etc. So right now I'm starting on the outside and this episode will be only the outside area of this habitat. I decided to split this habitat up into two parts. So this side will actually be for the ring-tailed lemurs and the other side will be for the uh, red ruffed lemurs. Um, and I wanted to make it quite big so the guests can walk around. Um, so the little area I just created, I wanted to be like a picnic slash education area. You will later see me um, adding some uh, tables to that part. And um, yeah, so the guests can sit there and, and basically <laughs> have lunch or whatever uh, together with these, uh, th with these animals. So I didn't want to create like uh, the normal door that you will normally see in uh, with buildings like this. So when the animals go from the outside area or from the inside to the outside area, I wanted to do it a little bit differently. So uh, the animals actually have to climb out of this building. Um, this also makes that the, the, yeah, it looks a bit strange when the uh, keepers enter the building, but hey, it's a sandbox, so it doesn't really matter. It I, I thought it looked cool that the animals could walk in and out like like this so it, it is a bit different than uh, you would normally see so you will see me adding a lot and a lot of climbing areas i want the animals to be able to use this entire area um yeah there is a lot of plants of course again a lot of rocks uh, and things like that so right now I'm, I'm building the climbing area which is on top of the terrace and uh, so when the uh, when the people are sitting there they, they will have the the monkeys all around them above them uh, besides them and they would they will be everywhere so that's that's the effect that I I wanted to create and I will basically create the same thing on the other side and I think almost at the end of this video you will see me adding the uh, the education part where people can sit down and listen to the yeah the, the I think that's a voice box or an education box uh, like that and basically learn a bit about these animals you do see me putting in the education screen right now but yeah that's it uh, later on I will add the seats and, and stuff for the for the people so if you maybe already noticed, but I just got myself a new microphone and I have been testing this one uh, for a uh, for like half an hour now and I decided to just go for it. I'm not sure if I already have the right settings, etc. For, uh, for this one, but anyway, I upgraded from a probably like 50 euro USB microphone to a new XLR set up so it's it's all completely new for me and this uh, this is actually the uh, the first recording I'm trying and I thought yeah I'm just <laughs> I'm just gonna do it uh, I'm just gonna go for it and see and see what happens so yeah let me know what you think if it already sounds better <laughs> or maybe I have to do something uh, a little bit more tweaking uh, on the audio but uh, yeah just let me know in the comments below and uh, or maybe uh, if you want you can always join my discord server i will leave a link in the description uh, to the discord server i am always available in there so if you have tips or whatever uh, if you just want to talk with me or anyone else which joined the discord recently um, just make sure you join that discord server and just have fun with this awesome community 
So uh, yeah, in this video, um, th there will be a lot of trees, a lot of plants. Again, of course, I, I in the beginning I tried to stay with the um, with the plants that actually fit for the animals, which was the African tropical plants. But yeah, there, there was such a large area, and um, I, there's probably only like. Yeah, how much should I say? Like 10 trees I can use and that's it. And it didn't feel right. So in the end I ended up... Yeah, I did use only tropical plants. But yeah, there were just not enough from the Africa region. So I decided to add the, the other ones as well. So right now I, I didn't like these, this barrier. As you know, I don't like barriers <laughs> in, uh, in Monkey Island. So I decided to uh, add a little bit of water to basically uh, keep the animals from uh, from escaping so um, yeah again a lot of rocks and um, yeah I, I just won't don't want these monkeys to escape so um, and I don't like barriers so I end up with the same thing uh, basically as I do in uh, most of my monkey island builds I do try to work a little bit more with the terrain so not cover up everything with rocks um, but again yeah in the end I do like the uh, the look of these rocks so yeah uh, somehow I end up with placing a lot of rocks again in this uh, in this habitat I did just create the uh, basically the door uh, from the inside to the uh, the outside area is the same thing as I did uh, on the other side um, basically covering everything up with rocks and with plants uh, I don't want it to look perfectly in the end uh, there was a lot of detailing in this build and that's also why I decided to create two videos instead of one uh, because otherwise it would have been really it would have been a more than an hour uh, speed build <laughs> video uh, because this outside area is just it's just really big and there was a lot of climbing I also did cut out quite a lot of um, yeah footage um, me looking ar around you don't want to see that of course as you can see now I did cut out a, a little a little bit uh, there's already some trash uh, and somehow people like to throw uh, trash into my zoo so you will see me adding some trash cans and some some benches uh, later basically so because I <laughs> I did like I was traveling for two weeks so I the only thing I could do is create some plans for uh, for future projects or and I even did come up with a few things I want to add to Monkey Island so uh, yeah this won't be the final episode uh, of Monkey Island I do know that with this these lemurs are the last monkeys that I that I had to create a habitat for but I already have a plan um, basically to adapt to any future uh, DLC that have, I'm like 90% sure that will will come so yeah I, I, I just really like this uh, this park so I didn't want it to end and I really like the feeling of uh, of the tropical builds of, of Monkey Island so yeah I'm, I'm <laughs> basically I'm really happy with uh, with some of the projects I uh, did come up with during the traveling and um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, uh, to, uh, to building it, basically, and showing it to, uh, to you guys. So I, I just started on the inside area. Um, I wanted to make it... Uh, yeah, what did I want to do with it? I, I did look at a lot of pictures of different uh, habitats uh, in actual zoos. And um, yeah, you will always see like a lot of actual plant materials and I didn't really find this um, in Planet Zoo but I did find these uh, like dead trees and they actually look quite good and then together with these these climbing materials it ended up really perfectly I did put in some plants and I tried to create some some costume trees but it didn't really look good in my opinion so yeah I, I decided to delete that and just go with the uh, climbing uh, stuff and the uh, what you call it? Yeah, basically those <laughs> dead, dead trees. Um, so I just added the gate for the um, for the staff. Uh, I didn't really think about where to put this uh, yet. Um, I didn't really plan this out uh, when I was building this, but 
I had to put it somewhere so that uh, the uh, the staff has to be able to uh, to reach this uh, habitat. So um, I decided to go for that. And um, yeah, as I already said in my future projects, it actually was quite good that the uh, the gate was over there. Um, so I did some a little bit of planning. And uh, yeah, so there will be some staff buildings over there uh, in in the future as well. So the animals has to be have to be able to uh, eat. You did see me adding one of these in the inside area, but it didn't work. Um, so I decided to put another one outside. Um, again, more climbing. Uh, you already saw me adding the lemurs to the habitat, and I had to make some adjustments <laughs> from the rocks for making sure that the animals uh, were not escaping um, this uh, this habitat but uh, it, it already starts to look uh, to look really good actually uh, some more rocks some more trees and um, I think I'm almost at the uh, the end of, of this side uh, because yeah I, I, I did want to make the uh, or like both sides a little bit different uh, but you will see me starting uh, on the other side in a few minutes probably a little bit more of um, how do you call it damn I have been <laughs> I have been gone for two weeks and I don't even uh, remember the names of in the game anymore. but anyway I didn't like the look of it so I decided to add more uh, to add more logs so uh, it looked a little bit better and uh, blended in with some terrain and and rock so it yeah it now it in my opinion it will it looks uh, much better than uh, than it was um, I do like this uh, technique of uh, putting the uh, these trees into the into the floor into the ground and uh, make it look better um, a lot of terrain work going on in this build and I really like how the uh, the terrain work ended up I'm actually really proud of uh, this project uh, on how it uh, how it looks in the end. It's it's just looking beautiful. In the, in, well, that's my opinion, of course. But anyway, yes, you know, the trash cans, as, as promised, uh, I just put it in, and right now I'm starting on the other side. Uh, the path will be more or less uh, the same thing, um, but on this side, um, you will see that. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna create the path uh, to the uh, to this area from the other side um, yeah I had to take a look uh, quite a few times but yeah I somehow ended up making it a lot bigger so yeah <laughs> again to rework and doing the pathing uh, all over again but right now it's more or less the, uh, the same yeah there's the same uh, area uh, as on the other side so more or less the same space so this part yeah that's it this this will look more or less the same so you will always you also see me uh, copying some of the climbing stuff from the uh, from the other side to this side also the uh, inside area is uh, is is almost the same but I did add um, a lot of climbing uh, features <laughs> as I would call it um, to this side that I didn't do on the other side so make sure you check those uh, out in a, in a few minutes um, also a little bit different not water but some uh, some more rocks to uh, to keep the animals inside and this side yeah so the water will be the same so more or less a river that will split up the, uh, the habitat uh, more rocks <laughs> to, <laughs> to blend it in yeah the, the, there was just a lot of rocks I love rocks uh, I did think about uh, updating my technique for it so uh, hopefully you will see uh, me using that in the uh, in one of the next videos um, so again the uh, the door for the animals to go outside um, you also saw me doing that on the other side but make it blended a little bit better with some uh, with some wood and um, that just uh, looked better. You can already see me using uh, some other trees already. Um, these trees just fit in perfectly and uh, I can't imagine that the animals don't like it. And right now I'm finally using one of these uh, huge trees doing some terrain work to, look in, to make it look 
more realistic, uh, more climbing space, of course. Because I just want the animals to basically to be to be everywhere. So um, you will see me putting climbing materials everywhere, and basically the, all the entire side of this habitat will be uh, will be climbing space. And in the end, you you will see all the animals playing around and running around. So that's uh, yeah, that ended up uh, perfectly how I uh, how I wanted it to work. So that is good. So, um, yeah, I, I can't say it enough. A lot of plants, a lot of rocks, <laughs> a lot of terrain work. Okay, I'm finally <laughs> starting on this one, and it's uh, it ended up as more or less like a, how should I call it, like a playground for the animals. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how you translate it. <laughs> if you translate it like directly from Dutch, it will say a climbing wreck, but <laughs> I'm not sure if that's it. An actual word. If it is, just let me know. If it isn't, also let me know, please, uh, before I start using it uh, again in, uh, in my next videos. I decided to finally use some of the uh, ropes, and um, I think later on you will see me adding more and more ropes to uh, to this uh, one to uh, make it look realistic, more or less like a uh, yeah, like a net, some kind of thing. Um, but it looks really cool in the end, and um, the animals uh, actually use it, so that's also important. So I'm uh, I'm really happy uh, on uh, on how this looks. More benches and more trash cans, uh, and then later on you will see me uh, building the uh, education area in this habitat. So yeah, this cave thing I did copy that one. Uh, I did make it blended a little bit better. I didn't like this tree, so made sure uh, that it just looked uh, a little bit uh, better um, and again in the end of the video I will do some cinematics and I learned a little trick <laughs> as you might have seen in the beginning of the video uh, to make the cinematics a little bit smoother so make sure you check that out as well in the end of the video all right so that was more or less uh, all i had to say uh, about this episode i really hope that you guys enjoyed this one make sure you check out the end of the video and uh, that you will see the cinematics because it's just uh, it will look perfectly in the end i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure you hit that like button and if you didn't do that already make sure that you subscribe to my channel it will really help me out a lot if you do and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching and goodbye.
Let's go, 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 let's go